Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the modeling of this luxury bathroom over here. So we'll continue it. So I have downloaded one more reference over here. So we'll be modeling the shower area over here now. So I also have another reference. We can utilize both the references over here. So now I'll just go over here. I'll just take a box over here. I'll just create a box area. Slightly I'll just push this out. I'll go into the side view. I'll take a line over here. I'll off the auto grid. I'll slightly push this area like this. I'll shuffle it over here. Now, select this vertices and let's give fillet over here. After that, convert to editable poly go over here I'll put one loop over here so I'll use one swift loop over here I'll select this polygons and let's give a bit of extrude by local normal like this click OK go into the edges over here select this edges remove it select this polygons click on insert so select this all click on insert a bit and slightly extrude it a bit up click OK I'll go over here I'll put one more loop over here select the polygons slightly bevel it click OK select the vertices slightly just push this down and that's totally fine now after that let's go down over here take a box so go into this front view over here I'll just slightly zoom it I'll take a box over here shuffle it over here scale it After that, convert to editable poly, select this edges, ring it and let's give a bit of chamfer. Let's click OK. After that, scale it again. Now I want to create this part. So I'll just duplicate it again over here I'll just go over here I'll slightly shuffle it up if required I'll take a line tool I'll just drag a line tool so I'll just take a line tool over here up till here so select this part and I'll reduce its thickness I'll slightly shuffle it over here select the vertices slightly push it down 
so convert to editable poly select this polygons over here and let's give a bit of extrude by local normal click ok so again select this edges over here I'll slightly just push it down if required after that again select the polygons so before that I'll select both the edges and I'll remove this edges over here after that take a polygon slightly give a bit of bevel so you can slightly give a bit of bevel over here and let's give extrude over here so I'll go into this and I'll slightly reduce the extrusion area slightly rotate it so now I'll go over here and I can select this edges and slightly give a bit of chamfer over here give again a swift look select the polygons give a bit of extrude over here you can slightly just scale that part So select this again, select the vertices and you can scale it to make it look a bit more bigger. After that I will isolate this, again I will select this polygons. I'll put one swift top over here, one here and slightly extrude it and isolate it so overall if you want to scale it you can slightly scale and make it look a bit bigger so I can just go over here and I can adjust it accordingly as required after that if you want to model this tool we can use another reference also we have this reference the main reference we can uh, create a sitting stool over here if you want to so let's use this reference not a problem so I'll just go over here I'll take a cylinder over here slightly just I'll push it up up till here so increase its radius reduce its height height segments reduce it go into this take a line ok I'll slightly shuffle it up take a line off this auto grid over here increase its thickness again 
So I will shuffle it over here. Go into hierarchy. Effect pivot only. Push it over here. Slightly rotate it. Make again one more copy over here. Select this. Convert to editable poly. So select this whole edges over here. And slightly give a bit of chamfer over here. Click OK. So you can just select this all and you can just slightly give a color over here. So now I'll go into this, I'll just create a box over here for the roof part. Slightly just push this up. Take a cylinder, activate the auto grid and let's create this ceiling lights. Convert to editable poly, slightly give a bit of inset, give a bit of bevel click OK so go to the top view and you can just take multiple copies over here Alright, so just save your file again. So I have created the shower chamber and the details over here. So guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here. So if you have other references you can put some more references into it, model something. So please like and subscribe my youtube channel. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.